Hi everyone, I'm Fiona Fay at Fiona Fay TV, and this is my mini guide to a real food lifestyle. So, as you can see on my info flyer, we've got okay, my golden rules for a real food lifestyle try to reduce the hidden sugar you unknowingly consume every day. You may be tricked into buying products that you think are healthy because of the packaging and the marketing and the branding, but the, one of the golden rules on my website is always turn the carton around and read the full ingredients. That's how you know exactly what is in it. Ignore everything on the front of the cartons because it's a load of rubbish. Number two, fiber is your friend. I cannot reiterate this enough because fiber is not just your friend, but fiber is your microbiome's friend too. Now all those trillions of gut microorganisms that help you keep healthy They've been living in you ever since you were born and they need something to eat as well. They don't like junk, they don't like sugar, what they do like is good fibre. So ditch the fruit juices, dump the smoothies and keep it whole. I know it might sound like I'm spoiling the fun because smoothies and juicing is trendy but the science, the hard science, shows that juicing and smoothies are not good because you're taking the fibre away which you need to stop your liver getting a fructose hit. Uh, and you're also depriving your microbiome of fibre as well. Not only that, but the fibre is important because it slows down the carbohydrates being absorbed. It protects you from getting that awful fructose hit and it you know dampens down the huge insulin response you're gonna get when you consume instant fructose without any fiber. So never mind about antioxidants or vitamin C, uh, it's much better to keep the fiber and you're gonna get enough vitamin C out of eating real food anyway. So, the third and really, really important one, fat is your friend. No, fat, I'm not talking about the fat on your body that everybody hates, which is a bit sad really because adipocytes, fat cells, they are actually quite amazing. They store a lot of hormone, they're hormone carriers and you know, they produce your leptin, which is really important. It's your appetite signal stop eating and the reason why fat is your friend is because you need omega-3 fatty acids now all that stuff in the 1980s about fat being bad that can just go away because it wasn't true uh, it was all to do with um, the agriculture agriculture uh, industry and influencing the government and paid scientists conveniently, you know, discarding, it, sort of tampering around with their evidence, making it fit to what they've really wanted to hear for convenience. So fat is your friend, because as you see here, more good fats, which is omega-3 fish, grass-fed pastured dairy and produce, and less bad fats. Bad fats can just go away. Bad fats, I'm talking about vegetable oils, soy oil, corn oil, rapeseed oil, it's just too much, too much omega-6. And when you get too much omega-6, it's pro-inflammatory. Not only the vegetable oils you get too much omega-6, but when you eat meat and produce that has not been grass-fed as evolution and nature intended the when the cows are fed corn the beef has a lot of omega-6 in it and branched chain amino acids um, which are not 
great on your liver, to be honest. So yeah, too much pro-inflammatory omega-6, out with the omega-6, in with the omega-3. And then this one, which is really important, also busts through a load of nonsense from the 1980s. A calorie is not a calorie. So all you have to do is hashtag this. Hashtag a calorie is not a calorie. And you will come across a lot of fantastic videos, uh, lectures, and a lot of scientific evidence describing why a calorie is not a calorie. So basically, in the brief description, the body does not process all calories equally due to fiber, essential fatty acids, as we just mentioned, fatty acids, and protein. Think good fats and good protein. For example, 200 calories of wild salmon is really not equal to 200 calories of, um, let's see, some horrific breakfast cereal. So counting calories is utterly pointless. It's quality. Quality, not quantity. And last but not least, because you got to know this if you want to feel good. Sugar has many names. Yep. Sugar isn't just called sugar. The food, big food, food corporations have figured out other ways to call sugar other things. So the so-called natural sugars. So we've got stuff like agave, agave syrup, which is horrific. It's just like high fructose corn syrup, damages your liver. And, you know, so-called healthy sugars, which claim to be low GI, like coconut crystals, um, like evaporated cane juice. What else have we got? Uh, yeah, crystals, cane juice, syrup. It's all sugar. It all affects insulin. So there's no getting around this. No matter how much you would love to believe what the branding says about, oh, this is healthy, this is low GI, ignore this whole GI nonsense because it's the glycemic load you need to look at. And that is what determines your insulin reaction rather than any marketing nonsense about sugars being natural or having low GIs when in fact when you read the data on them they're not low GI they're not good they are still sugar which creates a big insulin response so there we go my info flyer and I have got of course hashtag just eat real food and sugar tax which i think is a very good idea hashtag sugar tax something's got to be done because it does affect everybody and obviously healthcare i mean seriously you know what what do people expect so yeah so this is my info flyer i made about me and my website and an abbreviated list of the golden rules. You can get full list of the golden rules on my website. And follow me on my Facebook page and Twitter for loads of fantastic re meal replacement tips and hints. You know, I've got really great ideas how to replace horrible junk with real food, but make it taste good so kids like it. Make it convenient so you can take it out with you. You know, people are busy nowadays, so, you know, there are ways to get around these things. And, yeah, so all sorts of time-saving tips and sugar-free information and other health information, because I am a bit of a science geek. Yeah, and there we go. There's my veg bow. Hashtag, just eat real food. Oh, and remember, keep it whole, because fibre is your friend. <laughs>